Hello there everybody, it's Sally Cathcart here and welcome to today's Tuesday Teaching Tips. And you might have noticed I didn't have one last week, that was because I wasn't very well and you wouldn't have liked to have uh, listened to me very much. But I'm back today and today you've kind of got two for the price of one really because this month in The Curious Piano Teachers we are considering all things to do with uh, asking questions and uh, giving feedback to pupils. So today's question is really... Are you aware of how many questions you ask in piano lessons? OK, and what kind of questions they are? I did some teaching yesterday and I have a, a, a lovely young man who comes who's nine and he's busy preparing at the moment for his grade one. And things, to be honest, are getting a little intense as the weeks get closer and closer. And um, I look back at yesterday's lesson after it had finished and I realised that actually I was completely consumed by what we call in the Curious Piano Teachers as the advice monster. And I'm just going to say hello to Laura. Hello, Laura. Lovely to see you here and listening in. And um, the advice monster is where you just kind of dish out advice to your pupils. And I think it tends to happen quite frequently when we are pushed for time because it is really easy isn't it just to kind of focus in on what you're doing at any particular time and just go 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 we've got all this information we need to impart so um it's not the best way of teaching however so let's start to ask ourselves uh, about the questions that we ask in lessons and to help me remember this afternoon when I'm teaching to keep in touch with my questions a little bit more I've uh, just put together uh, a little couple of question marks and I've laminated them I'll tell you what I'm going to do with that in a minute so um, what kind of questions do you ask in a lesson yeah are they the same for every pupil so on the question marks here, you can see that we've got two different ones. We've got quite a, a thin, skinny one and we've got a, a bit of a fat one, fatter one here, because there are different kinds of questions that we can ask and they have different purposes. So the thin ones or what I call the skinny ones are questions that require often yes or no answers. I'm going to say hello to Amy. Hello, Amy. Great to see you here. Um, do say pop in and say hello if you're around. Um, these are skinny and these are yes or no. And they are questions that require uh, knowledge, really. So it could be, oh, what does that sign mean? Pointing to a flat. You know, and the answer is flat. So what does what does the time signature say here? Three, four. It's either yes or it's wrong. Uh, yes. It's either right or it's wrong. OK. So those have a good use for uh, finding out about knowledge. These kind of questions, though, are more interesting. And these are what I call fat questions. I'm going to say hello to Emma. Hi, Emma. Thank you for watching. And with fat questions, they often lead to another question. So these questions are all about investigating um, how we can think further um, about what we're trying to find out about. I'll be talking more about these kind of questions in the blog on Friday. If you haven't read last week's blog, that's also about asking questions. As you can see, there's a bit of a theme going on here. So I will talk more about these open questions and what open questions are and the potential of them in, in the blog on Friday. So all I want you to do really for the moment is to grab something similar, maybe write a couple of question marks on. I'm going to put that on my piano stand so that I can't get away from the fact that I have to remember to ask questions in this afternoon's lessons. If I can, and it's going to be quite a tall order, but if I can, I'm going to tr see if I can keep a tally of whether it's a, a, a closed question or whether it's an open question. I think really to be successful at this, I might need to video myself because trying to keep that as well as doing the teaching is is quite hard work. But I think I'll make a start with this. So why don't you join me? Why don't you get something similar going and uh, see if you can keep a tally for how many questions you ask in your lessons? Because I think it's quite illuminating when we do that. I'm just going to say uh, hello to Louise as well. Louise is watching, I can see. Um, so thank you to all those people who have watched me today. Um, today's Tuesday teaching tip, ask more questions in your lessons. Keep a tally of how many questions you are asking of your pupils and what kind of questions they are. That's all for me for today. Happy teaching. Bye bye for now.